y'all, it's the Cute Coffee Gal, and I am back with part 10 of my Asylum Challenge. Neely has just gotten home from work. She had a great day at work, though she wasn't quite ready to make a promotion yet. Uh, so she's now come home and is doing a little bit of painting. And uh, before we get too much further along, be sure that you have given this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would sure love it if you would. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tick the little notification bell so you will always know when I get new videos on my channel. Um, I'm not sure who this person is. This must be a new coworker that she uh, is wanting to come and hang out. Um, yeah, you can come hang out. That's fine. Um, I think we need to let you be able to come in the door though. Allow access to, um, we'll, we'll just unlock it for the moment and just kind of watch it. All right. Is she coming through here? We can, um, get to know her. Oh no. Oh wait. They're just going to work. Okay. They're allowed to go. Okay. So now we can lock door four. Everyone but Neely, and then we will unlock for a specific sim so that they can get back home when they, um, let's see, who's Addie, uh, when they are done for the day. All right, she is painting an abstract painting. It's actually really cool looking. I think it's a cat, um, which is really awesome. So where are we at? Um, she needs to finish these paintings for her work for tomorrow, but more importantly, um, we need to achieve a level 10 painting skill, which it looks like we've got a bit of a ways to go before we'll hit that. Um, but she also needs to make two more masterpieces. And then I think, yes, that was a masterpiece. Excellent. And I actually want to keep it because I think that that looks really cool. Um, let's see. I'm just going to set it right there. Now, where are you going, sweet pea? Oh, you were going to go chat with that girl. No, you got to come back in here. Come make a confident painting. Um, and so then let's see, where is it? I was going to look at what she's got left to do. Where's the thing that tells you? I know that we are on level three of four. I guess maybe we just need to finish this point and then we'll be able to figure out what the four of four is. Um, or no, maybe she is on level three of four. And so when we finish this, we'll be done. I think that might be what it is. Um, but I know that she's going to be ready for a, uh, new aspiration very soon. I don't know if she'll be able to hit that in this part or not, but I have in mind what I think I want her to do. So that would be great. And then let's see what everybody else is up to. It is a heat wave. This little girl's outfit is just like crazy. Look at this. She's got like this skirt and a bathing suit top on, but then she's wearing like tights and heels. You are like a crazy artist lady, but they seem to be hitting it off really well. But we don't like Cassie, so maybe we don't like this girl if she's friends with Cassie, because we are like total enemies with Cassie. Um, so the other thing that I was thinking about for this part, uh, which it works well that it is so hot, we were thinking about maybe putting a pool in. Um, oh look, there's a bird that just came and landed on Patchy. That's kind of cool. Still want to see Patchy like get up and move around. What is this? This is a dragon fruit plant. Oh, oh hold on. Everyone's trying to make a deal in this park so that paper bag stash punk trash bin. Well, it's probably not full of sandwiches. It could be a setup, though. Addie can either swipe the bag or leave it alone. Let's just leave it alone. Let's see what that is. Uh, okay, so nothing happened. All right, so we've got a dragon fruit that we need to, uh, let's see. Are these all, I think I have flowers around the outside. And then food is in here. Do I have an empty spot? I do not. All right. Perhaps we need to get another planter box then. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Let's see. There we go. And it can go right here. And let's go ahead. Oh, not patchy. No, 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 not patchy. He is just fine where he is. Let's move that to right there though. So that we can have the dragon fruit be in there. And we've got all these trees over here. Okay, so if we did do a pool, it would need to be maybe right here in this little corner. Oh, she just finished another masterpiece. Excellent. What does it look like? This one is... Oh, another cat. She's like got cats on the brain. Uh, I think that... Okay, because she's done so many cat things, I'm going to just set, put it out there into the world. If for some reason someone in the asylum dies... 
we will get an asylum cat. It's going to happen. So, um, and she is so tired. Here, we'll keep this one too because it's really cute. Um, yeah, I can go right there. The walls are just like covered in Neely's art now, which is kind of fun. Okay. So she is going to sleep through the night, it looks like, which is excellent. I'm glad she got a bed. Oh, I bet this chick wants to leave, too. Um, we don't really want to lock her in here. We'll wait till we get the little notification where she's like, you know, it's time for me to go. All right. And we need to put this book back on the bookshelf. Okay. So the pool idea. Um... Well, it counts as a skill building object, so we need to get rid of one. They have never once used this bar. I figured they'd be making drinks left and right, but they never use it. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let's sell that. And then we've got quite a bit of money right now, actually. I kind of hate to, like... Let me make it so we can actually see what we're doing here. I kind of hate to... Like, mess up all this plant stuff? Because it looks so nice. Like, this was all part of the build that I uh, downloaded from the gallery. Um, but I don't know where else we would put the pool. So I kind of think we have to. Maybe we could, like... Let's see. Could we, like, move some of this over this way? And it could be kind of, like, off to the side of the pool. Um, there we go about this that'll be and then we can just like have the pool be here here let's move this here there we go there we go all right so these will be kind of the boundaries of our pool and then let's go into build. Um, Try to think what shape. Maybe we do an octagonal pool. That'd be kind of fun. Like here. What do you think of that? That's kind of cool, right? And then let's see, what was that plant that just went in the inventory? Oh my good gracious, we've got a ton of stuff in our inventory. Where'd all this come from? All right. Um, VIP ducket, bucket from going on that date. We'll go ahead and sell that. A postcard, we'll sell that. Oh, that was from her um, unlocking that at the painter career. We'll keep the things that came with her career. Oh, and these are the criminal career. These are um, Addie and... Um, and what's her doodle? Lana. Um, do, 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 do. No. Well, no, we'll leave. We'll go ahead and leave. We'll sell one of them. We don't need to. We'll sell one of them. And this is painting canvas. Those are all from painting. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Um, why do we have a toilet? Like, our toilet's right there. We only have one bathroom. Okay. Get rid of some of this random stuff. And I'm actually not even seeing the, um, what you do, Bobby, the plant that went into our inventory. So maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it went into her inventory. No, that wouldn't make any sense either. Why is there all this stuff in our inventory? I downloaded the lot from the gallery, so there shouldn't have been anything in our inventory. And we haven't done any building. This is so strange. Okay, well, we'll use the money for sure, because we are like super low on funds. I wish that we could actually up have these nicer appliances. Okay. Um, we have our trash can still. Yep, we have a trash can right there. We're good. We've got a bookcase. We've got a TV. Yeah, this is just like really weird that this stuff was in the inventory. Okay. Um, so we need to still add in a way to get in and out of the pool. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember, I don't use pools very often. I don't think there's like a diving board or anything like that, right? Is there? Do we have a fire alarm? I don't think we do. I'm going to put that up. Are we allowed to have a smoke alarm? Let me check the rules real quick. Okay, so the rules say we can't have anything that prevents fires. So I think that's more of like a sprinkler system. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to get rid of the smoke alarm. So, back out here to the pool. Okay, 
And I kind of think that like, they might make the pool be like a funky color or something. Let's see, we need to add a trim. Ooh, we could do the really cool looking one from um, Jungle Adventure. I think that just looks so neat. It's kind of pretty. That's like massive. No, I want the Jungle Adventure one. That'll be awesome. Okay. Do we have different colors? Ooh, we do. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's pick our watercolor and then we'll pick the trim that goes well with it. Uh, let's see. That's just blue. It's pink, which is hysterical. Oh, it's got flowers in it. That's kind of cool. That's nasty looking. No. That looks kind of like a pond. I feel like the asylum would do a little bit better than that. What is this supposed to be? Hot spring. Oh, therapeutic and brackish water. Let's do a hot spring. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so then let's see what trim would go with that. No, maybe. Kind of goes better, doesn't it? No. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Let's do that. Okay, cool. And then all of the pool accessories. Let's see. Oh, we could put lights in there. Can't intersect with the walls. Oh, let's see. This helps me help it be lit at nighttime. Um, how about, okay. So we got some lights in there. That'll be good. And then we've got all kinds of stuff that can be floating. Don't really want that. Um, do -do -do. What is this? What is this? I don't even know what that is. Um, a steamer? Add a little heat to your hot springs with this steam event. Does that go in the bottom? It does! That's kind of cool. Since we're going for the therapeutic thing, why not? Is this the same thing? Steam and ornate. Um, we're not going for ornate because it's the asylum. Uh, do 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 do. Jump and splash or belly flop. Let's, let's do that. Um, maybe this one goes with our stuff. There you go. So that'll be their like diving board. And then we still need to add some cool steps. Let's see. Think these. Okay. I love how they're like rusty and nasty. <laughs> Perfect for the asylum. All right, so I think that this is our pool. We'll check it out in the morning and see what they think of it. It looks kind of cool sitting back here. <gasps> Ooh, look at the cool bubbles. Oh, it looks so neat and so steamy. How cool is that? Are they going to be able to use it when it's summertime, though? Or is it going to be too hot for them? Swim here, skinny dip, swim laps. Hmm, seems like it's just a normal pool. Okay, so I am going to... Oh, and this random chick is, like, here now. I bet she's ready to leave. All right, I'm going to fast forward through the night, and we'll catch back up with her in the morning. And it looks like it is Summer Visitor's Day. So Neely's just woken up. She's grabbing something from the mailbox. Oh, here's a little gnome. Let's go ahead and appease him. Well, uh, let's give him a toy. I can't even remember what all these things were. Air grievances, decorate, invite guests, streaking, and the gnomes. So what is this? Oh, we got a classic wood mobile? No. Oh, that was what we gave to him, but he didn't like it. Plead for forgiveness, please. I'm so sorry, Gnome, that I did you wrong. And then please put your halo back on because I really need for us to... Oh my gosh! Did you guys see that? She got struck by lightning. That's crazy. Wow. Okay, we're going to scavenge for parts. And then we still need to appease him. Oh no, we need to plead for forgiveness again, I think. 
She really needs to get back inside the asylum. I just brought her out to check the mail. Please work better this time. Any better? Ah! That was crazy. Oh, I was not expecting it, even though I was expecting it. <laughs> it's so loud. Oh my gosh. Here, we need to throw this away. Oh, you poor gnome. We need to give you something else, maybe? I think we have to plead for forgiveness again? Please? Oh my goodness. Oh no, it's happening again! Oh no, I got screenshots this time. <laughs> How do we make him happy? Like, what do we do? Maybe we kick him. Being really annoying gnome, so I'm gonna kick you. Rawr! Go away. Scavenge for parts. <laughs> oh no, he's back inside now. Okay. So we're gonna throw that away. Oh no, here it is. Throw this away. And then we've got to get you back inside, Neely. Oh no, this one's mad too! Appease the gnome. Neely has angered the gnomes. The gnome high council will now pass judgment on the gnome kicking monster. <gasps> Look how many of them there are in our house, you guys! Oh no! This is so bad! This is so bad! All of the angry gnomes. Oh no, this is really bad. Eee. Okay. Um, oh, and they all disappeared. Oh, there they are. How, how do we, what do we do? What do we do? We need to um, sing together. We're going to sing a song with our girlfriend. We're going to come sing and maybe that'll make the gnomes happier. Oh my gosh. They're like gonna kill everything in our house. What are all of these? Oh, she's angry from decor. <laughs> Not really a holiday song, but we'll take it. Okay. Nope, this is not working. They're so mad. Uh, maybe if we decorate. Um, let's put up decorations. Okay. So that's good. Oh my gosh, where did it go? And then... We need to go streaking? Go streaking! Maybe that'll make the gnomes happy? Oh yeah, this is where she like runs around the neighborhood naked. I forgot about this part of the holiday. <laughs> And everybody else does too, I think. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just having a grand old time. Not wearing any clothes. Hi there, how are you, Lemonade Stand? <laughs> the gnomes are following us! Why are the gnomes following us? Oh, they're so scary. I don't like them anymore. Oh my gosh. Are they gonna follow us some more? We're just like, do 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 running around. <gasps> they did follow us! Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Oh gosh, they're so scary. Okay, um, I don't know what to do to make them happy now, but we do need to go home. Let's go back into the asylum. Here, why don't we eat something? Because you're really hungry. Come, I bet we don't have any leftovers, do we? That would just be too nice. Nope. Okay. So we need to cook. Let's, well, no, let's not. Let's make, um, for everybody. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I did mean to do. Ah, oh, you guys. Let's make, um, do do do. Let's make everybody some pan de muerto. Day of the dead bread. Okay. Come cook, please. Oh. Oh, we have 25 hours to pay our bills before the power is shut off. Okay, so we need to make sure we do that. Come on. Get in here. Do your cooking thing. Are the gnomes going to come back in here? <laughs> they are. They're so scary. Seriously, though, what do we do to... Are they just going to do this all day long? 
They don't seem to be hurting anything, so I guess that's okay. What are we doing now? See what's happening. Where are we going? We're not supposed to leave the asylum. Where are you going, Neely? Oh my gosh, there are more gnomes over here. There was nothing happening. Go back to the house. You're supposed to be cooking breakfast. What is wrong with you? You need to quit leaving the house. But I have to lock it until it's time for you to go to work. Okay, come back here and resume your bread. And where is everybody else? Let's see. Cassie's in here eating. They all at the pool, maybe? <gasps> they are! Look at this! They're chilling in the pool! We've got Shay and Lana are having a good old time in the pool here, but they're really hungry. That's fair. We did, um... Oh, get back over there. Oh, and is Neely gonna get in now? I think she is! We did uh, say that we were gonna make breakfast for everybody, so... Which is now, like, lunch, because it's taken us so freaking long. This is kind of cool. Just a, you know, nice little summer day at the at the asylum pool. <laughs> oh my gosh, these creepy gnomes are still everywhere. They're everywhere. Uh-oh. Oh no, we've got water here. We've got a trash pile here. Are the gnomes doing this? Oh my gosh, and our counters are filthy. Norma, you need to get in here and do your cleaning magic. Oh, it looks so gross in here. Oh, they're so creepy. I want them to stop now. I'm over it. <laughs> All right. Hurry up and finish the spread. Oh, thank you, Norma, for cleaning. I didn't even have to, like, actually tell you to do it. Because you just do. Okay. Definitely going to grab a plate of this because you are so hungry. Is it any good? It looks like it's sparkly. It's excellent, of course. Oh, and these are bills. We def 14,000. Oh my gosh. They're insanely high. At least we have enough money to pay them though. All that stuff in our inventory really helped. But we're going to be like really broke afterwards. He's like right here up on her. Look at that. He's like in this weird little bear costume. Oh my gosh. Uh, view? We'll view him. Maybe that'll make him stop doing it. Oh no. Oh, he's disappeared again. Okay. We do need to plant these other two dragon fruit, though. Let's see. This was our dragon fruit. So we do need to put them here. Plant and plant. And what are these? Tulips. Do we have tulips planted already? I'm not sure that we do. At this point, I don't really know what we're doing. Because, as I have mentioned... This is not Neely's garden. This is for all of the other inmates because we don't need one more thing to deal with. Snapdragons. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. Tulips are right here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and sell these tulips then. All right. And we should... Is this all upgrade parts? Yes. And then let's go ahead and pay these bills just so it's done and over with. Oh, is this Patchy? <gasps> Patchy! Hi, Patchy! How are you? You're looking very dapper today. Gonna grab a little Panda Muerto. Nope, just gonna sit here and chat with Lana. That's cool. Alright, so she's paid the bills now. That is good, I think. Yes, she did. And now she... Oh, yeah, Iris. How's Iris doing over here? Ooh, Iris is uh needing some attention. Play with her and observe her and let's talk to her about her day and tell her secret and feed her a treat okay oh my gosh you creepy little things go away from me please you're so annoying uh oh i think we got bit did we get bit we did bite-sized bite um and then we want to go swimming at some point too but we should probably how's her mood because if her mood's good she should probably paint yeah, we still need to get to that level 10 painting skill. Oh, somebody else did a painting. Who did this? Large surrealism painting. Oh, the um the person that was like um our friend that came over did this. Well, we'll just uh we'll sell that. <laughs> and then we'll paint another and it'll be great. All right. Come on. Fast forward through playing with Iris. 
Get over here and sell this thing. Oh my gosh. You guys are so creepy. Stop it. All right. Um, let's do a... Let's paint from reference. We're going to make a large painting from reference. And hopefully I can get... Yes, I can. These creepy, creepy gnomes. Yep. That's what we're doing here. That is what you're painting, is this creepy gnome that it will not leave us alone. <laughs> and let's start a club gathering just so people do interesting things. It's like the way that I can kind of sort of control them without controlling them is if I make it a club gathering, then they'll at least like do this stuff, you know. Just to keep it interesting, because otherwise they're a little boring in here, I think. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get that done. How are, is the bathroom looking? Are things broken? No, we're actually doing pretty good in here. No toilet paper on the roll, though. Can we upgrade? That is as upgraded as it's getting. Oh, we need to finish upgrading the sink. And we can upgrade the shower. Okay. Oh, hi there, Patchy. Just washing your hands. That'll do. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so creepy looking. <laughs> this is perfect. We need to like put this as a place of honor somewhere. <laughs> this scary as I'll get out gnome. So one of the things that I was thinking about, I'm trying to think ahead. What are we going to do with Neely next? I want she's done with her painting career um, or her painting aspiration. I think I'm going to have her do the nerd brain next um, because there's a lot of skill building. And I thought that that would be kind of a, a fun thing for her to work on is building up all of those skills. Um, and then to kind of, oh gosh, no, what are you doing, Cassie? You're wrecking. Um, I thought that in order to kind of help her with those skills, I would change up her career um, because I know that she's doing really well in the painting career, but if we're not going to have painting as our aspiration, we should probably switch her career to something that will be more beneficial for her therapy, for her treatment. Um, so I was actually thinking we might do the rocket science career. It's not one that I've ever done before, and I thought that that would be kind of fun. And I thought that we could probably find a spot... Maybe out here at the front, um, since the back's getting kind of full, but somewhere for her to build a rocket here at the asylum. You know, that just seems like a real asylum-y kind of thing to me. Like, oh, she's the crazy person always talking about going into space, and she's, like, building this rocket off in the corner. You know, she's crazy, but actually she's, like, a crazy genius. You know what I mean? Like, that's where her... Her, her genius comes through and it's like, oh, maybe she's not so crazy. Maybe it's intelligence just gone awry. So that's kind of what I think I want to do with her next. I thought that that would just be just a fun little something for us to, to explore that's a little bit different. She can, of course, still keep making paintings because they do make us some pretty decent money. Um, is she done? Is this finished? Oh, and it's only excellent, but that's okay. Um... Yeah, we're definitely keeping that. Oh, they're so cute together. Here, we'll put this one in here. This isn't actually Neely's bedroom. Like, she shouldn't have a bedroom, but um, that seems to be where she sleeps a lot. Let's go ahead. We'll do... we got to keep working here. Let's make another confident painting. We've got to get that painting skill all the way up. Because I would really love to get this thing knocked out and done today. So Neely has come over into this bedroom over here in the middle of the night to eat a ham and cheese sandwich. She woke up so hungry, but she is still so exhausted. And these silly gnomes keep following her everywhere. They have made such a mess in the house. They broke the TV. We have piles of trash everywhere. Do you see all of this? Trash everywhere. It's driving Norma crazy because she's such a neat freak. Um, it's just not a pretty thing. It's not a pretty thing. Um, yeah. So I actually think I'm going to have her after she finishes her sandwich. I'm going to have her sleep in that bed. And it's almost 2 a.m. So hopefully these gnomes are going to go away soon. All right. So it's after 2. I've got all the gnomes. I think I've gathered them up from all over the house. But look how many there were. Like, it's kind of crazy. There were, what, eight of them? Yeah, eight gnomes. It's just nuts. 
All right, so she's going to just sleep it off in here a little bit. She's so tired. Um, and hopefully Norma is not tired and she'll keep cleaning while we're <laughs> asleep. That would be great. Okay, so Neely slept enough. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. And I've got it queued up for her to scavenge parts from all of these different trash piles that are all stinky and smelly now. Um, might as well get some parts. Oh, no. And Rachel keeps picking them all up. All right, so we won't be scavenging for many of those because she's picked them all up. Are you picking trash up too? No, just us. Okay, good. We at least we'll get some parts out of all of this. We do need to repair the TV too. Does she have work today? She does have work. Pretty soon, actually. Which is fine. We will have her take care of that and hopefully others will clean up these trash piles now that we've sorted through them. Oh, look, there Neely goes. Or not Neely, um, Norma. She's just like walking right behind us, picking them all up. That's awesome. And then let's go ahead and repair the TV so that the others can watch it while we are at work today. That would be good. So we've got lots of new upgrade parts in our inventory at this point, which is great. We have this, what is this? An electronic upgrade. Can we upgrade the TV? Neely cannot, well, it is broken. Okay, so we'll look at that in a minute then, I suppose. Oh, no, and the fridge is broken now, too. You guys, what's wrong with you? Why do you keep doing this? Um, upgrade. Needs a nine handiness skill. All right, our handiness is not high enough to do anything with the TV, but that's okay. Oh, yes, we do still need to repair it. Okay, go and repair the, t the fridge. Go repair the fridge. And then you'll go to work after that. Get on in here. Everybody's in the kitchen. Goodness. What are they all doing? Oh, here we go. Scavenge for parts. Literally, I think the entire household is in the kitchen right now. Craziness, but we're going off to work. So that's just fine. Are we like totally nasty now after digging through all the trash? Actually, we're not so bad. That's pretty good. Paintings are complete. I wonder if we'll get a promotion. That'd be great. We could really use the money. Um, but I'm just going to fast forward through her work. I'll be back in a minute. So she's just gotten home from work. She got up into the excellent range, but it does not look like she uh, got that promotion, which is kind of a bummer. And she's totally worn out. Why don't you come sleep just a little bit? She's just like totally drained from that hard day of work. Um, so I'm going to have her nap a little bit. And I will um, have her do some paintings after that. I'd really like to get that painting skill done. Let's see. Where is it? Doo -doo 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 -doo. How far do we have to go? See, she's like halfway through. She's at 53%. Um, so we've got to get that up. Um, but people have been swimming in the pool all day long. Patchy came in and was like playing chess earlier. It's just kind of a, a funny little household we got going on over here. Um... What? Elvis, quit sending me things. Oh my gosh. That's so annoying. Okay, so I'm going to have her sleep until this is no longer red. <laughs> and then I'll have her get up and do some paintings. Okay, I know she hasn't had a full night of sleep, but I'm just going to go ahead and stop her here. Addie is totally skipping work for some reason. I do not know why. She's in here punching the punching bag. Um, why don't you do a... Let's do a large classical painting. Um... But yeah, she, I can't tell her to go to work because I can't control her. So <laughs> she's just skipping work, which really sucks because we need their paycheck, you know, her $91 or whatever it is. Who is she painting? This is pretty. I don't know who this is. It's like got this pretty like little border thing on it. There's so many more paintings in this game that I have never seen. This is really pretty. We should like start trying to keep some of this artwork and then we'll like have an art gallery or something like that whenever she's, you know, doing better mentally. <laughs> Lana brought home 91 and Addie just never went to work based on the hat in her little icon. I'm guessing she's in the pool. She's cannonballing. She just like totally skipped work altogether. Not cool. Not cool. And you desperately need, like, all of the things here. I just really want your painting to get finished. Come on, you can do it. 
what is this one? Racing cars, I think. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This one will sell. I don't have a desire to keep this one. Come on, keep going. You can finish it. Darn it, she's too tired. She can't do it. All right, go take a shower. Go to the bathroom. Do all your things. I do think it's funny that we have no toilet paper, though. Okay. So once you're done with that, then you can use this. Oh, we're back to a heat wave. We'll have to go for a swim later. Okay. Now can you come and finish this? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, it's, it was done. My goodness. That's really expensive for something that is not actually that great. <laughs> what does this say? Tell story to self. No, you don't need to do that. Finish going to the bathroom. And then you come in and do this. Oh, what's today? Oh, it's the season TV or TV season premiere. We can do that. We'll do that this evening. That's just fine. Um, yes, we're about to sell a masterpiece. That's totally fine. We make a lot of them. Um, here, come and take a nap. Make it happen. Does she have work again today? She does. She finish all? Yes, yeah, she finished her paintings. Okay, so she hopefully will get that promotion today. Um, but I really wanted her to finish her painting skill. So Neely has finished another day of work with no promotion. This is so, like, disappointing. I think it's probably just because she was so tired when she went to work, and she's still super tired. So I think that... Uh, she just needs to do a lot of rest. I think I want to just play a little bit, get her needs back up, and I will come back to you guys. I really want to finish her aspiration in this part because we are so close, but y'all don't need to watch her go to the bathroom, so I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so she has finally gotten all of her stuff pulled together, and uh, we're watching the season premiere of, I think it's Peach is the New Orange. So the fact that they are in an asylum and they're watching the orange is the new black is just kind of funny to me because they're like kind of in prison themselves, you know? So, there you go. She's watching that season premiere. Um, I don't know why nobody else is coming to watch it with her, but that's okay. She can watch it by herself. She had to repair the toilet in order to be able to use it, but she did not repair the sink yet. So, oops, oh well. <laughs> and they are standing on top of each other. Good job, guys. So, go ahead. Finish up this so we can mark off season premiere day. There we go. Done. And I bet her fun is back up now. And so after that nap, I bet that she is... Wow! Okay, she's doing fantastic. That is good. Okay, so why don't you come in here and sell this? She does have... Let's see. I think this is from being walked in on. Yeah, privacy invasion. From when she was in the shower. All right. Get rid of that. Let's go ahead. We'll make a painting... And hopefully we can knock this out. No, you can go away, Blake. What is she painting now? What's it gonna be? Will it be her final painting? I hope, maybe, perhaps? <laughs> it's very pretty, whatever it is. I love swirly blue things. <laughs> maybe it's a winter painting. I bet we got new seasonal paintings. That would make sense. And it looks like she is so close to having this skill checked off. I don't know if it'll be finished in this painting or if we'll have to do another one. Oh, what was that noise? That was Iris is conducting experiments. Great. Um, is this one? This one's just excellent. That's okay. Here, come do a confident painting. Sure, why not? You can clean off puddles later. You were so close to done. TV premiere was awful. Oh, because nobody else watched it. That's right. None of y'all were watching it, so it was awful for all y'all. We thought it was great. <laughs> Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? And we're having another rodent rave. Come on. You can do it. I know you can. I know you can. Here, let's get the walls up. We're so close to done. She's so close all of her paintings around her. What was that? Oh, a whim. Okay. Oh, is the painting done? She just finished a masterpiece. 
Oh my gosh, sell it. Wow, this is a really expensive one. But she still didn't finish her painting skill. Like it was so done. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll do another one. Let's do a small pop art painting. Hopefully it won't take that long. Yes, there we go. Oh, and I hit the wrong button. I wish it was in front of her. There we go. Oh, and we've maxed her skill out too, nice. Okay, I mean, I knew that, but. All right, good art is subjective, but spectacular art is universally recognizable. Neely has reached this pinnacle by achieving her dream of becoming a world-class painter. Trait earned, expressionistic. Neely can make emotional art regardless of her mood. That is certainly a good thing. Um, but as you know, we are going to be selecting a new aspiration. She has finished level one of her therapy. So it is time to advance to level two of her therapy. So let's go ahead and select a new aspiration for her. And I did say I wanted to make her be in the nerd brain. Let's see, where is that knowledge? I think there it is. So for this one, um, she's got several milestones. She's got to read some books, get some logic skills, repair or upgrade an object, which obviously should not be too hard for her. Craft an object on a working a woodworking table. So we will need to get one of those. We'll need to get rid of another skill building object in order to have one of those. Achieve a level six logic. She needs to get to level five handiness, which I think she probably already has. Launch or upgrade a rocket five times. Own a rocket ship and logic and fix and upgrade objects. So you can see why I picked this one because of all the handiness stuff and the logic um, or um, the handiness skill and the upgrading objects. It's something she's doing already. Um, so I definitely thought that that would be a good thing for her, but we're going to go ahead and select that one. And I am going to have her switch to the rocket career, uh, rocket science career, but I've noticed um, that she's got seven vacation days. So I might just actually, um, leave that alone for the moment. Oh my gosh, she's finished another masterpiece. You are on a roll, girl. Um, I might just leave her in this and let her take vacation days for the next seven days while she can work on um, all of these skills and things like that. Um, might as well because she's, you know, she's got the vacation days. We can just stay home all day and do some work on that. So, um, and if she's just going to be sitting around reading books and playing chess, that's a little boring for you guys. So I'm probably going to take a few vacation days and just have her like blitz through some skills stuff. And I'll come back to you guys when um, it gets a little interesting, probably two or three sim days from now. So... Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed uh, this part of my uh, asylum challenge. I hope that you are as excited as I am for Neely's therapeutic progress. Um, and I'm actually not going to fix that yet because I want to, uh, well, maybe I am. Let's see. What do we need to do? Oh, no, we're not, we're not fixing things yet. That's fine. Um, oh, and she's already at a logic skill too. See, this is not going to take that long, guys. Uh, but anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're enjoying this series. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think about the pool and about Neely's new direction in therapy. And make sure you've given this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Bye.